The sexuality and the spectrum, the fluidity. Um, I forget if someone wrote this or if I heard it, but someone said it's not hurts. Excuse me. I fucked it up. <laughs> Let me restart. I was like, and, like, and? and? my eyes are itching. I know from your these, eyeballs look like you guys, a little crazy. I have Kleenexes here. My eyes are itching because Sid's fucking cats. Sorry. Okay. It's about hearts, not parts. Oh, I like that. I like that Isn't too. That cute? You know, this is going to be kind of a weird comment, but I, I do have to say my friends who are um, like most sexuality f- um, fluid, sexually fluid. Why did I, what they, do you I mean was going to say just like uh, they just the, sometimes they're hetero, oh. sometimes they're homo, sometimes they're whatever they want to be. They're really the most joyful people mm-hmm. because they feel like they they don't need to become a label or label themselves and they can just kind of float and they just kind of do their thing. Yeah. I have one person in mind and they're like the most beautiful person Aww. I've ever met. Yeah. So kind. That. But really. I have a prediction. What? I think by 2090, everyone will be sexually fluid. Oh, interesting. 2090. What year? 20, I always go, what year is it? So you, you're saying like, in 70 like years or so. Everyone will be fluid. Wouldn't that be cool? It would be really cool. Like, a, like oh, I'm dating a girl now and oh, dating a guy now. Can I ask you one more hot take on yeah. this? Do you think that religion has anything to do with yeah. the the acceptance mm. of sexuality? Yeah, and people's worries about coming out. A hundred percent. And as as our generation grows it's up and becomes becomes maybe a little more spiritual, more agnostic, um, or maybe not so like hard to the book, like yeah, hard verbatim to the book. word yeah. for you know word for word. And you can still be religious and oh, yeah. still be you know and still believe in this fluidity stuff for sure. I just think yeah, some people. Like our, my grandma's generation, for example, is very to the book with the Bible and they believe everything that's said. But mm-hmm. these, this age, people are kind of critically thinking a little bit more about like, I still like conform to God's values, but I believe this or yeah. this. And yeah. so, yeah, I do think it has something to do with that. Mm-hmm. I was just curious to see your take on it. Yeah, I know. I totally Definitely. do. But and, and to be honest, it's kind of why I moved away from religion, because I had heard some comments made at a church that I went to for a while about the acceptance of people liking a different sex and i just i my my aunt's lesbian like i have a cousin that's gay like i have a cousin who's transgender like it, oh yeah like i got everything yeah. in the book and i love it yeah we I, gotta get your cousin on i know they don't live in minnesota though so we'll oh. see um but i i just felt really um ashamed of my religion at that time and i know that it wasn't a religion that like a lot of people are listening they're like i'm religious and i've never heard of anybody doing that well it, it's true and it, it's out there you did know did you grow up with that religion then? um i did and i'm no longer a part of any religion but i think it's a beautiful thing that there's there's um different religions and different levels of religion that you can just go find and be a part of um or have always been a part of and just enjoy and you don't have to ever worry about like stigmas like that but yes. th- there are religions out there that do you know mm-hmm. think a certain way so i was just curious i mean I'm not knocking it in any way. Should we do... Um, Feel better you're by your eyeball, by the way. Yeah, I'm itchy, man. We your gotta, poor eyeball. We got we to gotta wrap this okay, up. Okay, final thought about this, because then we can wrap up. Um, there is only really sexuality support for most tra- the most traditional um, sexualities. So just support your people and support your friends. Like, imagine if your sexuality was not being fully supported as much as, like, you know, maybe hetero or whatever it may be. Yeah. Like, just really, like, support each other. Maybe ask those critical questions where appropriate if someone seems bummed or wants to talk about it. You know, invite your friends to say, hey, I, I accept whatever sexuality that you are, you know, and I, I'm, I'm open to ever to talking about it if you ever want to. So, and I think this especially goes for men because that's something that needs to be yes. that, that toxic masculinity. Um, a cycle I think that's one way to break it is kind of open up that conversation a little bit more for sure exactly